aka the Nerd Girl Review, and today I'm coming at you with a tag, specifically the bookish bookin book tag. That's quite the tongue twister. I almost forgot the word for twister. And it was created by Becca Awesome Booknut. Let's get into it, shall we? Number one, what is a well-loved book that you hated? Um. I could pick a lot of different books for this, but I think I'm gonna go with Divergent by Veronica Roth. Like, I felt like I could've liked the first one, like, it was okay, but then I got to the second and third one and I was like, I don't like this. Why is this so hyped up? I don't understand. Number two, Guilty Pleasure Book. Uh, that could be a lot of books too, but uh, I'm gonna choose Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I just, I really love that book. It makes me have feels. I wish I'd brought it with me, but limited space in the dorm, so can't reread it here. Uh, number three. Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? If so, which? Um, yes, I have spoiled books, but on purpose because my friends asked me to spoil the books. Like, for example, Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. My friend Nisha had read the uh, first two books, but she didn't want to read the third book, so I just spoiled it. Number four, what book made you ugly cry? So I've never actually cried over a book before, but I came close to kind of crying when I read um, Illuminae, that book that did things. Uh, your latest DNF. I've DNF'd a lot of things lately, because they just haven't been cutting it, but I think the last one I DNF'd was Bad Feminist by Roxanne Gay. I thought I was gonna like it. I really... It started off good. I really liked her tone, her voice, and, like, what she was talking about. But then she kind of started to digress, and her essays were just kind of, like, all over the place, and I just wasn't interested in that. Uh, number six, a book you read due to controversy. None. I've never read a book due to a controversy. I've only ever read a book because I wanted to read it, someone recommended it to me, or because of, um, yeah, I think that's it, really. Uh, number seven, what? A book you were question, a book where you questioned the author's sanity. Um, I'm gonna choose you and um, Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Ketnes. I'm pretty sure I'm saying her last name wrong. But um, for those of you who have read it, you know that book's, that book's effed up, like a lot. Like, the main character has issues, and the fact that this author came up with him means she probably has some issues in the back of her head. Number eight, the most cringeworthy book you've read. Uh, I'm gonna choose Break Your Heart by Rhonda Helms. It's a new adult book and it was just written so badly. I did not like the plot, I didn't like the writing, I didn't like the characters, it was just, it was all bad. Number nine, a book you read due to the cover. Uh, for me that was To All the Boys I've Loved Before by uh, Jenny Han. I really, I really, I don't usually go for books that have like pretty covers like that, but I don't know, it just looked really nice, so I picked it up. Number 10, a book you are embarrassed to have read. Honestly, like any new adult book, especially the ones with like those kind of like erotic like covers, like that, that's some embarrassing worthy stuff right there. Number 11, an unknown book you wish more people knew about. Uh, I wish more people knew about Embrace by Jessica Shervington, which is a part of the Violet Eden series. And um, it's a, it's like an urban fantasy, paranormal fantasy series, and I really enjoyed it. Like, I, the only reason why I picked it up was because of someone at my library had recommended it to me. And I really wish more people knew about it, and like the author's Australian, which there aren't a lot of Australian authors and young adult out there, so we should give it a chance. Number 12, your favorite book villain. I'm going to choose Resand from Akotar 
though technically, like, I guess he's not a villain anymore, which, you know, I'm completely fine with that, but in the first book he came across as a villain, though I never really thought of him as a villain. I liked him from the get-go. Uh, 13. Name a book you enjoyed that is outside the norm of what you usually read. Uh, so I usually don't read nonfiction, but I really enjoyed How to Be Black by Baratundi Thurston. I think that's his last name. Yeah, Thurston. Uh, it was really refreshing. I liked the narration style, the writing, and, like, what he said was very relevant to today's society and, like, anyone who's alive, really. It, it's a good book. You should read it. Number 14, tropes you actually enjoy reading. I typically don't enjoy tropes, like, they annoy the hell out of me, and, like, when I see one coming, I usually, like, start the eye rolling and I'm like, let's get through this, but I occasionally I'll enjoy, you know, a love triangle every now and then, but, uh, that's, that's occasionally. And number 15, what slash who inspired you to join BookTube? So, I was on YouTube looking at Comic-Con videos, and I came across Tashaopolis, or Natasha, and she was talking about Teen Wolf, and then I looked at her other videos, and it was like all this booktube stuff, so I kept watching them, and I got really interested in them, so I branched out to other booktubers, and eventually I was like, you know what, I can do that, I can talk about books, so I started a booktube channel. So those were all the questions, and I tagged Tamika Uploaded, Kara Curiosity, and Jum Jumble of Jargon. That's a tongue twister in itself, just like the title. But I tag you guys, so go forth and do the tag if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. I won't take offense to it. But yeah, that's all I have. Bye.